Hello, you guys. I know I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Honestly, I just... I don't even care for it anymore lately, to be honest. Um, a lot of people are giving the wrong people attention. Um, they're letting toxic people come into their lives, and that's that's on them. I'm done with that part. Um, I really am. I'm done with that part. But, uh, so with that being said, I'm going to move on past all that toxic past. And, um, and let you in on a little story that happened to me and a friend of mine. Um, when I was out in the Four Corners area, I was in Colorado, Southwest Colorado. And I worked at Mesa Verde National Park for two seasons. And the first season I was there, I met a guy named Brayden. And we were really good friends. And he was into the chakra. And to like Hindu chakra meditation. And basically being your own little mini god. And how you had control over your life. And... You know, what you speak out into the world is what you'll get. And how um, you're like a mini-god. And that's just what he believed. And for a couple of months, we would go, him and me and a couple of other friends and stuff from the park would go and hang out. We'd go to the lake and, you know, hang out. Or we'd go up to the mountains and hike and hang out. Or we'd go... Uh, hang out in an employee housing or whatever, you know, we would just hang out and, uh, and have fun together and stuff. Um, they're not have pizza parties or bonfires, you know, just hang out and have fun. And, um, so that's kind of how we got acquainted with each other. And he worked there for a little while. And so did I. So, uh, anyway, long story short, we were out looking for an Indian dwelling and we ended up finding the Indian dwelling. And uh, we found the Indian dwelling. And several hikes we had been on before. And he had talked about how he could control his environment. How he was like a little mini-god. And he could control the clouds. And he could control the wind. And he could control storms. And he could control those kind of things and I kept telling him you better be careful what you say you better be careful what you say you know if you do have any of these powers then you might want to give all the glory to God because you are not God he is and it's just not good juju to be saying that and he would basically state that no it wasn't God but it was him doing it basically proclaiming that he was a mini-god. And like I said, he did the chakra and the Hindu and the third eye and all that stuff. And after several hikes we took together, he kept trying to explain to me his belief of the chakra and how he's a mini-god. And I continued to explain my beliefs in Jesus and how Jesus is the ultimate god and how we're not god and that he should be careful what he says. So anyway, we're at about our fourth or fifth hike. Um, most of them were Indian dwelling hikes. A couple of them were in the mountains. But anyway, uh, I'd say this is the fourth or fifth hike we went on. We were trying to find an Indian dwelling called Painted Hand. And we were trying to find other Indian dwellings out there other than just Painted Hand. But that was the main one we were find, trying to find. Now, on our way out to trying to find Painted Hand, there was a storm around the corner. And you could tell that it was a bad one. It was lightning and everything off in the distance. And I was like, okay, well, we better make it quick because there's a storm on the, on the, on the rise. And he said, oh, no, I'll hold it back with my powers, my secret powers. I'll just hold it back with, you know, my meditation skills and my powers. 
And I said, Okay, you rely on you, since you're a mini God, and I'll rely on my God, Jesus. So we just kind of laughed it off, you know, and I just said it as a joke, and it was just supposed to be a joke, right? So that's what I said. I said, Okay, you rely on you, your instincts, and your meditation chakra skills, and I'll rely on my God, Jesus, and see how this goes. So anyway, so we're hiking to the dwelling, we get to the dwelling, and we have fun, and we check out the site, and we see, you know, pottery shards, and petroglyphs, and we even find, you know, an, an Indian burial ground, and all different kinds of cool stuff, and explorers, and, you know, just really cool, like, exploring, you know, an Indian dwelling. Well, after that, we get ready to come back on the trail out of the canyon to get back on the trail to go back to the car because the storm's getting closer. And he's like, oh my God, I left my camera down in the canyon by the Indian dwelling. I'm going to have to go back and get it. Now, at this time, when we first got down, the, before we got down to the Indian dwelling and we were talking about the storm and how he can hold back the storm and how he would rely on his, you know, his, him and his chakra and his meditation and him being a mini god and I would rely on me or I would rely on my god, Jesus. Um, I remember the father telling me, you know, go ahead. I'll let you know when it's time, when it's time to leave. And I remember telling him that. I said, well, God would told me that he would let me know when it was time to leave. And that's kind of where the joke came up, where he was all like, oh, whatever, I can hold the storm back. And I said, okay, well, then we'll see what happens. You rely on you, yourself, and your chakra, and your meditation, and I'll rely on my God, Jesus Yeshua, and see where we go. So anyway, he is like, oh, my God, I have to go back for my camera. And I said, well, as we're standing there and I'm arguing with him, I'm saying, no, you better not go back because the storm's going to hit. The storm's going to hit. And he says, no, I can do it. I'll hold the storm back. See, this is how deluded people get with their ego and their arrogancy. He just would not listen to me. And I said, well, I'm not going back. The Lord told me time is up. And it's time for me to go back to the car. That the storm is coming. My God, Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, told me that it's time. And he said, well, I'll rely on me and my little mini-god. And I will go back and get my camera. And I said, okay, fine, I'll meet you at the car. So as I'm on my hike back to the car... He goes back down into the canyon to the Indian dwelling to get his camera. As I am hiking back to the car, it is literally starts hailing and lightning behind me. And God told me to start jogging. So I start jogging. As I'm starting to jog, the hail gets worse. And I mean, it, it is right behind me, you guys. And it starts lightning really bad. And then God tells me, run. So I start running. And I'm not kidding you. As I'm running, trees are falling behind me. Hail is falling behind me. Lightning is hitting shrubs and trees behind me. And trees are falling. Um, lightning is hitting the canyon side to where the quartz underneath my feet was glowing it was the most scariest experience I've ever had in my life so well good thing I listened to Jesus and not my ego so anyway so I'm running and I get to the car and I am out of breath this moment I shut my door it starts hailing and lightning all around me. I can't even explain to you. It was lightning. The lightning was hitting everywhere around me. It was hitting trees. Trees were falling down all around me. Hail the size of maybe tennis ball size hail. And it was really bad, you guys. Really, really bad. And 
I get in my car and I'm scared. You know, it's it's lightning and it's hailing all around me. I mean, it's really, really bad and I'm scared. So I start praying and I'm like, God, please protect me. You know, Jesus, please protect me. Please protect me. Please protect me. Amen. The moment I said amen, I'm thinking, oh my God, my friend. Oh my God, my friend. So I start praying for my friend and I'm like, please God, please God, protect my friend. Protect my friend. Protect my friend. The minute I say amen, my friend's like, do, 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 do. Do, 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 knocking on the window. Ashley, let me in. Ashley, let me in. Ashley, let me in. Ashley, let me in. And I look over, and it's my friend, and he is just drenched in clay soil. And just mud, clay soil, mud all over. And uh, he opens the door. I let him in the passenger side. And uh, he takes his shirt off, and he's like, I'm so sorry, Ashley, I'm so muddy. And I was like, it's fine, just get in here, just get in here, just get in here, just get in here, because it was still hailing and lightning all over the place. I said, just get in here, just get in here, because he didn't want to get my car dirty, but I didn't care, I just wanted him to get in, because it was hailing really bad, and I didn't want him to get hurt. So he got in the car, and he shut the door, and he said, I am so sorry, Ashley, you were so right. And he said, I was trying to find my camera, and I didn't find my camera, and I got lost on the way back, and I slipped in the mud like 500 times, and trees were lighting fire all around me, and trees were falling all over all around me, and hail was all all over all around me, and he said all I could do is grab onto a tree and say, I believe, I believe, I believe. I will never forget that day. Of what happened to him. I I have kept in touch with this guy. And not ever. Have I ever heard from his lips. That he is a mini god. Now he still struggles with sin. And he still struggles here and there. Like we all do. But I really do re believe. That the Lord Jesus Yeshua. Revealed himself that day. To, to my friend. We must be careful what we say in our arrogance and our pride. We must give all glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Yeshua. We also must correct people in love. The Lord could have struck him down right where he was, but he didn't. He gave him just enough fear and understanding to believe that he was to rely on him. Because God is a jealous God. He's not going to let you continue to glorify yourself or the ways of this world. So what is your choice? You choose yourself in the ways of this world? Or you choose Jesus Yeshua? I'll never forget that day. And I'll never forget what the Lord did for my friend that day. And I'm sure my friend will never forget what the Lord did for him that day. All glory and honor be to the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach.